Awesome, awesome. So, Slim, who are you going to watch this medal? Who's going to go big this medal? I'm um, checking out RR. Uh, Ooh, let's see what Slim's saying that he thinks <laughs> RR is one of the top. When you say Slim, what, do you, what would I you rate four. RR? I, I said four. I said it was Danny Platinum. Danny Meatball. <laughs> and then, and then uh, Sweater, and then RR. But... Alright, let's see what RR does. He messes up his rollout a little bit here on the way there. Yeah, making me nervous. Take it away here, Slim. Alright, so we do see RR coming out of the house. Uh, getting actually sneaking out here a little bit here by Duatna and uh, both teams going for well, they're actually going to be mirror like right up against each other in their face. The closet rollout working out really well for Runaway Five. As you see, picks a couple of frags here. Are going to go down. Snoopy dead as well here. And Runaway Five might be taking this first mid here. Scouts underneath. You must might going to get taken down. Did you see with a nice two K and the combo for the Madmen are out. Yeah. RR missed his rollout a little bit there, and that caused him to be slow getting the mid, and do what not just sticky like the entire Madman team out. And uh, we have we see uh, Runway 5 pushing the Spire here. They actually get a good amount of cap time. Both the teams have Uber here. Scarlet bombs in. He's able to force the Madman's Uber way early. Whoever, uh, Overseer hasn't popped yet at all. They take down Blake. This is a really good situation for Runway 5. Yeah, and they're looking pretty good. They're down a player though. Um, Madman definitely want to keep control of the spire. You see Memphis Vaughn holding the ground up there and does take down uh, Downpour, I believe. Now we do see a little bit of a skirmish as the Uber is popped. RR jumped in there and got that force from Overseer. He's going to go down in the process, but the combo for the Runway 5 going to have to back up to mid. And that's going to give Nosferatu that 40% advantage and a chance to retake. Yeah, that was a little sloppy by Runway 5 there. They had. They were only down one player, but they ended up losing two players before they even popped the Uber. So, what was a great situation for them, they ended up just kind of muffing the Uber, and now they're back holding mid with a huge Uber disadvantage. Yeah, so, we should see Madman be pushing in here soon. Nosferatu just grinded that Uber away and like gained 40% on that, so he's going to have the Uber here. Overseer only at 45%. Yeah, and it looks like Madman valley. pushing yeah, out of the valley. Well, here they come now. They're not even going to have to use this Uber. Nice job there pressuring out the enemy combo, but uh, it looks like Duana has stickies on that closet. Whoa, crazy shot by Scarlet on the blank. I think he had a double air shot on the blank there to take him down, but, you know, Mad Men still take mid here, so uh, they're not too worried about that. And they still have the Uber advantage, although Overseer looks like Player she's going to be able to get it. It looks like Downpour, or Zaylock, sorry, gets caught out behind the enemy team in the house. It's going to be a free pick for the Mad Men. Six on five now as they move towards the yard, and uh, they do have even Ubers. Looks like Runway 5 don't even want to contest the Spire here. They're all the way far back, and now the combo on the side Spire are getting ready to sort of get this Uber exchange on the way. Uh, Memphis Spawn up top on the Spire here. Not really able to do much, though. He's going to get forced off. A lot of players jumping around, but nobody's on the Spire. Zarr takes down Downpour. Scarlet dead as well here. So those are the two picks that the Mad Men need. They secure Spire. Runway 5 going to have to back up to their last, and that's going to be a free cap. Yep, that's just been what Mad Men's game has been so far. They've just been getting these one, two, like these two picks that have been forcing Runaway 5 back, so Madman yeah. playing really well doing that. And well, it's interesting that we've seen two points go capped without the Ubers getting used, so... Uh, yeah, Runaway 5 are just losing players early, so they know that if they use the Uber there, it's just going to turn out bad for them, so they, they're deciding to just give it up instead of even making an effort to defend it, so mm -hmm. Madman is sure going to be... Uh, well, actually, we see the Uber here last, I'll get back to that point later. So Madman yeah. pop way early. Overseer just uses hers, but they do get one pick Madman coming in, and they have players hidden all around last. This could go either way right now. It's a five on five right now, four, five on four, and this looks like Overseer or Runway Five is gonna be able to defend this pretty easily. Interesting <laughs> last hold, heavy down. back burner pyro. Oh, but uh, Madman's one picks up two. Wow. Three. I spoke too soon. I guess they were up like five to three on the players, but RR from above, like. Uh, shot pills down onto the heavy and ended up killing one and then Memphis killed a couple others so good push by Madman there. So the Skune meat men go up around and uh, <laughs> after, a, after, <laughs> yeah, after a kind of a rocky mid fight but we'll see how the second one goes. RR is actually pretty fast this time, gets a sticky onto Duatna, scouts pushing underneath for the Mad Men. Runaway 5 playing sort of a passive mid this time but nice bomb here coming in from Scarlet, not really picking up a kill but downpour able to finish off Memphis one underneath, Blank and RR going down. Another really here. good mid for Runaway 5. Wow, they could, uh, Nosferatu's way out though, but Runaway 5's gonna know they're gonna have huge Uber advantage here. And I think we see Scarlet chasing, but no, uh, Nosferatu's already out. But we're gonna see Runaway 5 here be pushing into last tier with this Uber advantage. DJC 
knows that they have this advantage here and they're just gonna take it in here. Yeah, Downpour already wants to set this up. RR knows they're coming main, throwing stickies there to try and slow this down a little bit, but it's not really gonna work as Overseer is 20% advantage ahead. It looks like Gamer's gonna be popped yep. onto DJC here. All over Blank, who's gonna get taken down right away. The Heavy's in a bit of trouble too, no buff on him. Snoopy's gonna go down point, is being forced well, okay, to run away well, 5! My pred's gone, but... Mine is out the nice window. Nice round by running away 5. Their mids have been <laughs> insane so far. Oh. Mad Benefit is just going for this really aggressive soldier bombs, and Runaway 5 are just cleaning the, the soldiers up so quickly that they're able to just focus on the rest of the team right after. Really good mids by Runaway 5 so far. Mike is gonna give me so much shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we know what someone else is fed with. No, next mid, uh, even, actually, both teams going for the house rollout. Mike getting the early pick onto Zaylox as the bomber comes in. Sheep gonna get forced out to the closet as downpour goes down, so no scouts alive for the Runaway 5. Three down for them. So many lit players for the Madman, but no focus fire coming in from Runaway 5, and that's what really did it in for them. Mad Madman didn't drop a single player and take the first, this third mid, sorry. Yeah, there was a lot of Madman players who were in the red, a lot of damaged players on Madman, but just nobody was able to get those frags, and that can happen a lot. That's what the good teams do, they manage to stay alive even if they're weak. But we see uh, Runaway 5 here, Ubering just stops fire here, which we haven't seen yet, so let's see how this fight goes. So far, it's a sticks on 6 still, and it looks like Madman have a really good positional advantage in this, and yeah, they're gonna get fire here as they try and push in the bottom lobby, but Duatna shuts them down pretty hard. Still gonna have to back up to last here. Zalox is dead. A Badman might try a drive push here. Even uh, neither team has the Uber. And uh, yeah, I looks be like surprised. Overseer wants to grind away. But yeah, yeah the they're push is coming. Top right. They're gonna pick off Scarlet here. And actually, have a scout run on the point. So much cap time. This is gonna be really bad for Runaway Five here. Yeah, but they do have a heavy. More picks. Nah, this is yeah. That cap time just that makes it so hard to defend once you know that you can't leave points or else they're just gonna get it. So, nice job running on Cap, whoever that scout was on that event, and that gave them the push. So, uh, looks like the Madmen are able to take their second round, and uh, we play first to three for halftime here, North America. Uh, both teams again, well actually, Madmen going for a house rollout and the valley rollout coming from Runaway 5. They're playing towards their own side, but really heavily underneath. DJC is trying to make something happen down there, but Downpour is going to go down to Memphis Vaughn as the bomb comes in! You must might pick in off Zales and Memphis grabs that pick on the medic there. Now Snoopy comes in and gets two more of his own and Duot's the only one alive. He's already backed up to his own house, he's going to have to get out of there. And the Madman getting this mid finally two in a row. Yeah, Madman seems to have to figure out Run 5 middles. That mid uh, seemed like both the soldiers on Run 5 tried to bomb. Madman's train and RR just shut them down. He did so much damage at the beginning there. As uh, we see something going on at last, I think there was a player hiding in there, but it looks like they're out now. So, yeah, Nosferatu has full uber advantage here. So let's see if Runaway Five can defend against this. This isn't gully, this isn't gully wash where you can defend and last easily against an uber. Badlands is one of those maps that it's pretty easy to push in on as we see the uber coming. Yeah, Sentry level 1 on the top right side, it's, ha it's not even taken down yet, and the Pyro reflecting all the stickies on the top left. DJC goes down here, Scarlet dead as well, two players down for the Runaway 5, as the Sentry still alive, actually doing decent damage here, and uh, keeping Madman away. But now there's so much cap time going down, the Madman should be able to clean this one out. And, yep. uh, that's gonna be 3-1. Yep, yeah, quick half, which, you know, Badlands is known for. It's one of those maps that it can go really fast, but can we it makes for interesting TF2. Can we just look at the scoreboard here? Memphis Vaughn at the top, like blank at the bottom with six <laughs> points. Memphis Vaughn has 21, so literally I mean, the best player on their team. <laughs> That's the way it can go in a fast match, though. If you're a player that like dies on middle and your team wipes through their team and goes in last, you can like do nothing on middle and then just do nothing the whole round because your team will cap before you even get there. And I think that happened that round. Blank, I think, died on middle and... Uh, Madman pushed into last while Blank was still respawning, so, mm -hmm. you know, fast matches, points don't really tell how well you're playing. I mean, it kind of does, but I wouldn't read too far, too much into it. <laughs> um, just looking at the uh, stats page right now, R RR has 547 damage done per minute. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible amount I guess, of damage. I guess after that first mid fight, he was like, alright, time to shine, and yeah, he's just been a beast after that. Yeah, and then uh, Duana's close behind though, 421 
uh, which is a pretty decent performance there in the Memphis Vaughn with 387, so uh, clearly doing a pretty good job. And uh, yeah, we should be starting the second half soon. Yeah, I'd like to see Run and Cod go back to how they played the first mids. It seemed like the last couple mids they tried to do aggressive bombs with their soldiers and they just got destroyed. As opposed to their first couple mids, they played pretty passive and just picked off the Mad Men's players. I'd like to see them go back to that and try it again because it definitely worked out for them when they did it. Um, yeah, and then if they get mid, pushing two, they just need to... They need to use their uber there without letting players die. That was their problem the first round. After they got mid, they just had like three of their players die before they used the uber. So they've been like really reluctant to use their ubers, but I'd like to see them play a little bit more aggressive with their ubers here. Hmm. One thing I really like watching from the Mad Men is their last pushes. It's kind of crazy, they're willing to sack a scout on the point just to get all that cap time and force the enemy team down there. Um, yeah. It's kind of similar to what we saw last week on Gully Wash, where Runway 5 just literally just pressured the crap out of the point, forced the enemy team down there, and then pick up frags that way. Yeah, it's nice to see teams doing that instead of just going for kills. And you can tell both of these teams are upper IM, and you know they can compete in invite just by how they play doing the strats like that. Because you see a lot of teams just try and push in, get all the kills before they go cap. But now I've been though that if they just sacrifice a scout and get a bunch of cap time, it makes the push so much easier. And it looks like the second half is about to be starting here. We have uh, Mad Men on red now, and normally a for blue. Alright, so uh, the match has actually been pretty quick thus far. Uh, let's we'll see if the Red Wave can bring it back and bring us to a second map as uh, we begin the second half. Hard Blue, take it away. Alright, I'm gonna keep an eye on. Uh, actually, I, I gotta watch R this minute. He's, I gotta see where all this damage is coming from. He lays a couple stickies. Looks like he, he gets some good stickies off of the scouts. Uh, both scouts for Runaway 5 are really weak. Snoopy goes down, but here comes the soldiers. Met this Vaughn. Two huge frags. There's four kills from the soldiers on Mad Men. It's, uh, yeah, Mad Men are gonna win this mid. The med died for only five. We see a scout coming back in, shooting around. He's gonna get taken down. He's only eight HP. He's still alive. And there he goes. He gets pistol down. So yeah, it was the, the soldiers. soldiers. Yeah, yeah, the soldiers from Mad Men got all the frags on that mid. Blanker is able to hold off those jumpers, and then Memphis Vaughn went huge and took them down in the valley as they're coming up. Yeah, although it was a lot of RR too. He got a couple of really good stickies onto the Runaway 5 scouts, and that just forced them to play really passive the rest of that mid. So that early scout damage is huge for Mad Men. Well, they're trying to get some cat time here onto the Spire as the scouts are really aggressive on the battle Now the bomb coming from Memphis. Oh, this is a mistake. RR is just, he's plowing through them right here. Huge damage from his stickies. Oh my gosh. That, I mean, that's going to be the round right there. Yeah, they're ready to play them armor. a little too aggressively. Yeah, Uber pops just to be safe. And we are at match point now, actually, for Mad Men. So this mid is huge for an OE5. If they wipe this middle, that could be game. Just gone for 5 1. Why didn't we go 5 1, Harm? I, I was My gut told me 5 1, but my <laughs> confidence was like, I don't know, I, such a mistake. <laughs> but here we have, we have this next middle. Uh, this looks like a lot slower one. So far, neither team is really committing. We see a bomb from TJC and onto Nosferatu takes him down. So the meta is down for Mad Men, but the Mad Men players are just getting in on the run of five players' face and they actually force them out. I think Mad Men are going to win this middle even though they lost their medic really early. Yeah, you must Mike is actually pressuring pretty hard here out in the yard. They could actually yeah, take Spire. Snoopy's actually getting on Spire. I don't think. Yeah, Runway 5 is no, no one up to stop that, so. Really nice play by Mad Men there. Losing their meta early, which is bad, but they managed to get two points. I'm sure they'll, be, they'll gladly take that. Now, this is a really tough situation for Runway 5 to be in. They gotta push out here and worry about getting back up at the same time. Badlands last is really hard to push out from fake Spire. Yeah. Uh, Mad Men are actually holding on top of the Spire here as Yuma's Mike in the lower lobby forces the Uber from Overseer. DDC now high, high in the sky, <laughs> uh, trying to get some frags. Uh, really not getting much there. Runaway 5 are in a lot of trouble now as Blank picks up a kill onto Downpour. And uh, actually, the combo for Mad Men are still out in the yard, so they're ready to fight this down a player. It, it looks like Runaway 5 had Scarlet there just sitting at last. You, you can't do that on a push. You have to commit everyone into that Spire push. 
and Mad Men are going to be pushing in main now here with Uber. This could be this could be the game right here. We see the Uber come in. Nobody's gone point yet. They're just going for frags right now. It looks like not much yet, actually. This looks like a good defense for Renault A5. But I know I've spoken too soon before as we see a couple players for Renault A5 go down. Let's go either way. Yeah, great frags coming in now from Memphis. Vaughn take down the Devil Man. Now the point is... That's going to be it. That's the game. That's playoffs. That was to yeah. Mad Men. Uh, well, I think that was as expected there. Uh, that was the first... That was the first match that Hard Blue has actually uh, predicted correctly in terms of the winner and, and loser. So uh, that's the hard. <laughs> what, what can I say? I did it. I made it. <laughs> I'm the prediction master. But yeah, congratulations to Mad Men. A very impressive season they had and crazy playoff run, only dropping one round total. I think they've definitely proved that they're ready for invite next season. Yeah. Some might call it sandbagging, others might call it a late roster decision, but <laughs> definitely had the, ro the strongest roster in intermediate the entire time. Most people predicted, or not a lot of people predicted them to go undefeated, but dropped a couple matches, uh, still ended up pretty strong undefeated in the playoffs. And Let's see. Let's take a look at the stats here. Looks like Memphis Vaughn, yeah, the Roamer ended up top bragging for Mad Men with 20 kills. That's pretty crazy. Uh... RR still had 515 damage per minute, which is insane. So I'd say both of them were doing work. And then, uh, you know, Mike on Scout was also gaining a lot of frags. And uh, on Runaway 5, uh, Zalox manages to only get one frag. You know, you can't really knock on him, though. He's not a Scout main. It's, he's known this the whole uh, playoff. He's, he's a Devil Man main. So, you know, he's kind of forced to play Scout against two of like two invite scouts that could easily do well in invite so you know nothing against Alex for that performance mm -hmm. well and RR had a great really like you, you pointed out on one of the mids RR just did a lot of damage to the scouts early on there and made it difficult for them to uh, maneuver around on mids so, uh, yeah yeah RR was just getting so much damage onto the Renault 5 scouts that you know I could easily see why someone could get stats like that but um, all right so a short night of TF2, but uh, <laughs> we're going to bring you tons of action this weekend. It'll be 12 hours on Saturday and 12 hours on Sunday for the Tip of the Hats uh, charity event that we are doing for uh, to was for One Step Camp. And, yeah. uh, well, Kirk, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you don't want to turn it on? Come on. <laughs> well, we got okay, well, my, it sounds like Truck Truck's a little camera shy in front of all these people or something i don't know what you, you can't say anything about it slim do you know enough about it well i just know that it's going to be a ton of different tf2 events from everything from you know 6v6 to highlander to surfing and jumping to man versus machine it's going to be a lot of fun it's all going to go to charity and uh, support kids with cancer and i think it's going to be a really great cause there's going to be a lot of tf2 celebrities there there's a trailer up on team fortress tv on the forums if you guys want to check that out um, and then, yeah, it's just going to be a really great event. Fun TF2 this weekend. And then m m Wednesday is going to be the ESCA Open Grand Finals, followed by the ESCA LAN uh, next weekend. And then the Grand Finals for Highlander UGC will be on Monday. Like Harper said. Yeah. So crazy TF2 these couple weeks. So, you know, if you love the game, then be keeping up, you know, keep checking on Team Fortress TV for like, you know, everything that's going on. They got the nice uh, events section on the front page that you can see. So, you know, if you don't know what's going on, you can just check that. And uh, yeah, sh thanks for Sean Blood for putting together this event, this upcoming weekend, this charity thing. I know he's been putting like a lot of effort into it, getting players to sign weapons, organizing everything. So props to Sean Bud and whoever else is putting it together. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all it for us. Uh, my name is Mr. Slynn, joined by Har Blue and Truck Trucks on Camera. Thank you so much for watching. We had a ton of people watching tonight, and we expect to see more this weekend. Um, see you next time. Peace. Yep. See you, everyone.